इफ यू आर इन टू फोटोग्राफी देन यू मस्ट हैव द मोस्ट कॉमन टर्म इन फोटोग्राफी दैट इज रॉ सो टूडे वी विल सी वट रॉ इज एंड वाई यू शुड बी शूटिंग इन रॉ सो दैट यू गेट द मोस्ट आउट ऑफ योर कैमरा बट बिफोर मूविंग फॉर द इंटर so what happens basically is when you shoot something the camera first captures it and then it does some post processing which is in the software of your camera and then it displays to you the smartphones also do the same thing when they click a photo but when you are really getting into professional photography you don't want the camera to do anything by itself you want to have the flexibility in your hand so that you can edit and get the best output for your results but when the camera first initially does itself and then you want to edit the photo in the post then it's kind of tough to edit the photo that's because while the camera does the post processing in the camera itself it loses some of the information in the shadows or in the highlights and as a photographer you don't want to lose any of the information and that is why raw is so much used in professional photography and as the name suggests raw so the camera will not do any post processing by itself and there will be obviously more information stored in your photo that means complete information will be there and no information will be lost by the camera while taking the photo so you get the complete flexibility to fix your things to color correct your things in post so the information will be highlights will be perfectly there in the shadows it will be perfectly there so what happens in the post when you edit a photo the most common things is to fix the exposure perfectly so that you don't have any blown out or under exposed part of the images and the next important thing that we do in the post is often we make color changes so while you shoot in raw you have the most information about all the colors so you can easily tweak colors in the post so in the left hand side you see an image which is totally clicked in raw and it's totally unedited and in the right hand side you see the image after it's being edited but what's the most noticeable thing in both of the two images yes it's the sky the sky is almost blown out in the raw image and you can't see the blue color of the sky but when i took the image to the post i was able to get that blue color of the sky and that's because i shot the image in raw so all the information was stored in the image so i just dragged down the highlights and in this way i was able to get that blue color of the sky and fix the overexposed blown out sky so guys now you know what to shoot in and now all the modern day smartphones are capable of shooting in raw so if you really want to get that professional pick you want to really get into professional photography then you should shoot in raw so guys that's it for today's video i hope the video was helpful for you if you like the video then don't forget to hit the like button if you're new to this channel then don't don't forget to hit the subscribe button below down there and having that said see you soon in next video till then bye bye